if a Peach is living forever, as long as you're just hitting the Peach away and killing the stock really right, quickly. Right, the Fox, Yeah. Taking the Fox stock really quickly. Yeah. Um, because Peach is so slow. Right. Definitely. All right. Well, yeah. We same. Same with uh. Same with the Marth Marth Fox team. Just hit the Marth away, or yeah. just kill them both. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, did that save, save him? Yeah. Oh but no, it did. Bad angle. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely didn't get enough down downwards to on that. Mm -hmm. And he gets just shine, shine twice. Spike. Yeah. Oh man. Shine. This is looking blind. like. Yeah. This is looking terrible for the Red oh. <laughs> team. Oh man. Are this we about to see a, a nice stock? I really hope not. No, I don't. I I can't see it happening. It's just too hard. But sometimes you, know, you just have to take it. Like it's this, a, this can definitely happen to. I feel like especially a Marth, like against the uh, with if the other team has a Fox, you can just right. get shot. No, they, they all right. They they took yeah. enough. They got enough composure to to, to, to start bringing this yeah. back. But this is gonna be this is gonna be a rough battle no, for yeah. the rest of this game. Especially with uh, with Griffith already at uh, 113. And obviously, Stango already yeah. on his last stock. Yeah, I think he just They're gave him the play like, super clean. He just wanted to give him away because uh, he's like, I'm, I'm so much better than you guys. It looks like he was honestly just trying to do as much damage as possible. Uh, he went for like a read on the forward smash on the tech option, but didn't get it. And I guess he just misjudged the spacing there on the uh, Firefox recovery. But another chance here. Good job by uh, by oh, Weedle. And Griffith just like give him the back here to the face. Taking yeah. those stocks. A little closer, a little closer. But Griff did lose his uh, second stock, yeah. so that's... Yeah. Okay, that happens and Stango, sometimes. Yeah, and Stango just... <laughs> just gets re-grabbed. Stango definitely not looking like best player in Philly right now. Yeah. I okay. mean, this region can be pretty volatile. I mean, it is also doubles, which is inherently more volatile. However... Doubles very, very volatile environment. They, they have two sets. So They do. Maybe we'll that's what it was. They're playing just really lazy, and Stango just kind of gives it up there. Yeah, they're so gonna. Have all to, right, you got it. It's they're fine. gonna have to. They're gonna have to talk about a couple things. No, so. uh, I think they're just gonna. They're just gonna go back. Gonna be, all right, that was our warm up. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah, go back to final. Back. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't disagree with them going back to final destination. I think it's a generally a good stage for their team, but you know, they're gonna have to figure figure out what they're what they need to be doing. No, I w so it, I just saw that as Stango getting a little too antsy. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, true. He did lose coming, two socks yeah, really cheaply. A cold, maybe. Maybe it's possible. What? Oh. Uh, yeah. So it, you're absolutely right. You know, they've they've had more of a break. I saw uh, Griffith playing some single friendlies. You know, it happens. Yeah. But I mean, um, yeah. So oh, okay. it, maybe it, it just it kind of looked like to me that that Stango was just kind of trying to go a little too hard and didn't respect them enough. And yeah. uh, Weedle and R2 just punished them. R2 in particular just punished them really hard for it. Yeah. So you can't you can't just do that to me, dude. Mm -hmm. We're seeing better teams play so far here from uh, well, well, more patient teams yeah, play yeah, in particular. Definitely. Like they they did something that we were talking about earlier. Specifically, you were talking about uh, getting the one. They got the peach off stage. And, and then, then immediately went after the fox. Yeah, they or no, the fox is actually off stage, and and Stango Going just bat, uh, just yeah. down throw into an up smash from fox. Yeah, like, you know, either way it works. Yeah, it doesn't matter which character it is. Yeah, it yeah, can generally work against either one. Yeah, you get that grab. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was that was pretty, All right, that was that pretty was neat. neat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Stango Stango definitely thought that R two was gonna run in initially. Yeah. But he ends up just grabbing Griffith, and they and both just get they didn't react. Eaten up, yeah. They even eaten up smash for it. Even. And oh. We got a, yeah. Stitch on, the, Stitch on the field. So far, gotten two hits out of it, and uh, off of that oh. one bad grab oh. by Red Team, and now this, oh, and now this Stitch is doing work. This is a complete like three stock reversal. Here. Yeah. Uh. So. Good job. All right. Good job by Stango. Though, really, yeah, really good edge guard. Yeah. And and a great tech from. From Griffith, yeah, stay alive there. But was definitely was definitely kind of getting Fox. edge guard on his own by Whittle. Oh, uh, was that? that was, yeah, that was R two that yeah. next, he thought he was gonna right, hit no. <laughs> Griffith, but he, he ended up hitting his killing his teammate instead. Yeah. Oh, and the just the, the wave dash forward smash. Yeah, just, just the the just do it forward smash. The you're not ready for this because yeah. it's teams. Exactly, you're looking somewhere else. Got him. Got yeah, him. yeah. Not a lot you can do there. And yeah, a couple big swings here, and this is man. Whittle, Whittle's, Whittle's like, oh, he just had to stay away. Whittle's so close to this. He just needs to get rid of this, this box stock as yeah. quickly as possible. 
Yeah. Or you could or you could beat Sango into a uh Yeah? There we go. Okay. No. Back, oh, okay. oh matches out. Good match out. Yeah, oh, super important. That's I think that's the box stock. That's it. No, oh, okay. This is yeah. a right, good idea. Well Fox privilege, so Exactly. In this version of the game especially. Pally was dead. Oh and another, is that another stitch. stitch? Yeah. Oh my god. But he just throws it away. Okay. And Stango dies. Stango dies. But he ends up and then, eating it. Oh yeah, wow. Whittle, Whittle, Whittle just rolling yeah. his eyes up. He's just oh my gosh, all he needed was a grab. I could have gotten that. Yeah. <sighs> like I did the hard part and then I Yeah, he definitely did. It. He definitely did do the hard part. Well, I mean Stango also did some work for him, but you know, it's whatever. Or maybe maybe Stango, that was the genius of Stango. He let himself yes. die there yes. to make to make it was Whittle think it was, yeah, all, it was all bait. Yeah. Oh my all right, game. we got the Abadongo tag out there, just the dot. Um, I know that's what Abadongo uses in Smash 4. But, uh, that's uh, Stango. Yeah, I know that's Stango. I know he also does that. Um, but anyway, yeah, we have Double Fox coming out, uh, which is why the tag's up there, why yeah. we're talking about it. Um, and I don't know. I guess they knew that, that they're going to Dreamland, so might as well uh, bring it out rather than the Marth. Good, good chunk, Spike. Kind yeah. of a uh, shine spike of opportunity there, oh, great for sure. Here. Nice oh, attempt tries to on save the save, but it's going to cost yeah, him two yeah. for one. For sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah, R2, R2's two, not having any of that. He's like, you you can't go out there without getting punished. Oh, and yeah. I'm going to punish you as hard as possible yeah, exactly. with the best move in the game. Absolutely. And we're, yeah. Oh, oh wow. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that was, uh, that was swift. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Nice oh, save. yeah, great save. And just mashes out a side feed to get center stage, and it works. Although it looks like he's going to be dead this time. Oh, good no, save again. Another save. Doesn't go for the shine spike, but it gets... Uh, luckily, yeah. Sango's there for the up smash. Right. Helping him out. I think he didn't go for the shine spike there because he was scared of what Peach could do yeah. in that situation, which is fair. Um, yeah, all that being said, counterfix still working out pretty well for green team here. Uh, they're showing you why they wanted to get Stango off Marth. And onto a bigger stage, so uh, Peach can hopefully live longer. Ooh, he tried to charge a little bit and got get up attack for that. Nice drill, grab. Oh, okay, a little bit of, All right. a little bit of work. Interesting that they're going after the Peach in that situation instead of going for the edge card onto the Fox. Mm -hmm. But because um, yeah. the other one of the reasons you would go after the Fox aggressively in, in those situations right. is because Peach. Uh, he's trying to fight two there. Was Peach, is, Peach is generally slow. It's hard for her yeah. to help out. She's good at helping out if she can get over there, but right. it's yeah. kind of hard for her to get there. But yeah, if you, if you keep the fight away from the Peach, like right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. there, she had, he, uh, Weedle had no time yeah, to get over Yeah, he can't there. really get in. Uh-huh. Especially with it, especially against the Fox. Oh, man, it's an up air and an up smash. Yeah, it's like pick your poison there. But, I mean, they're still sitting pretty yes. right now. Like, yes, definitely. A solid stock lead over Red Team. Uh -huh. Red Team's going to need to definitely... Take Ooh, okay. one of these stocks out as quickly as possible. Good job by R2 holding down. He could have got a shine spike there, but he manages to just grab the ledge after first shine. But here... Now, I say quickly. Obviously, they want to take the stock, but I want to say quickly as possible because generally, if you take a little bit too much damage yeah. I'm in, those, in, in that situation, um, it, it, it doesn't... Like, even if you end up taking the stock, the other team can kind of just... They can just trade it out. Yeah. yeah. And it, Especially it's with a character really like Yeah. Right. Um, so when I say that, I meant they don't want to take too much damage, obviously, but it's it's more imperative that they play a little bit more defensive in those situations. Yeah. They ended up losing, so it didn't really end up ha uh, happening. They uh, kind of just kept going in and tried to get those kills and died for it. Yeah, so a reset point here. Uh, oh. oh! Oh my gosh! Is out. Oh, and he got two hits off it. And that's an edge guard. That's, that's a dead Marth. Oh, no! Well, it is a no, dead Marth. It, it eventually is a dead Marth. Yeah. Uh, this stitch, th this stitch play, yeah, is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Every time, every if I if I had a stitch in my hands as Peach in that situation, I would I would throw it away and it would do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. Would, you'd be like, ooh, I have a stitch. I'm gonna right. throw it. Like everybody says, okay, stitches obviously very very good. They're amazing. Right. They're ama they're an amazing tool. But it's it's kind of like lame, that it's kind yeah, it's kind of lame RNG, but like, uh, it you know. It's kind of like the charge blast when you have it when you have it fully charged. Yeah. One of the things that your opponent's looking out for is that right, charge yes, blast. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But it's it's way harder to tell when it, whether or not that that's <laughs> whether they have know, it or yeah. not. Yeah. Until it hits you for the first time, and yeah. you're like, Jesus! <laughs> you just right. You, you feel the whole brunt force mm -hmm. of it. 
saying you can't pummel my teammate for free there, just coming in with a Nair from Peach. Misses the shield, but no punish. All right, just gonna set up for an edge guard while his teammate died, but uh, Weedle doing a great job so far in this set of coming in and uh, helping out, prolonging stocks and reversing situations. r 2 uh recognizing he was above 100% and just does a regular go slow get up yeah. to edge guard Stango there. It was really good. Yeah, definitely. Knowing how long it takes. Uh, and, and it kept him relatively safe from yes. the yeah. box that was on stage. Pretty, pretty good invincibility there. Yeah. Oh, when he mi Stango misses wow. a ledge dash. We are headed, we're in a collision course with a reset right yeah, now. Yeah, we definitely are. You know, this could all change if those, these two green stocks disappear real quick. Like, like that. that's one. <laughs> and, uh, okay, no, knockdown, yeah, wasn't able to yeah, get it. Yeah, if Griffith was able to get that dash away from the, right. from the, forward, or from the neutral air, that, yeah. that was an up smash waiting to happen. But yeah, unfortunately got knocked down yeah. and Stango couldn't make it over in time. Oh. All right. Okay, try to, get, try to get a little greedy there and uh, he's going to eat it for that. And then, okay, a little bit of tech chase oh, there. Oh, wow, okay. That's just Fox things yeah. on Mars sometimes, or in on most characters. Just going for, ooh, yeah, calls him it. out, that's calls him so out. That's the reset. Right. That's reset. I got to go play tournament. All right. See you, shot. Thank you for commentating with me. Always a pleasure. Um... So, uh, I'm wondering if, now, I, I don't want to be rude, but I'm wondering if Whittle can, Whittle and uh, R2 can get as much out of the set if Whittle doesn't end up getting as many stitches as he did. To be fair, um, he was given a lot of chances to pull turnips, but he definitely got way more than normal, um, and I do not expect it to happen again. And he definitely did really good with it uh, the first set. He, he got some great stitch stitch play in. But we're gonna, he's, uh, he's gonna definitely need to prove that he can do it without the stitch. But the games that he did end up getting those stitches, uh, they ended up winning by quite a bit. So it didn't seem like it was the stitch that got them the win. All right. Whittle recognizing that the four throw is coming. That was good. That was a good nair. All right, so Stango doing a lot of what I was telling, saying that R2 was doing earlier. Uh, he was kind of going, look, making it look like he was going for the two on one, and then just going for the hit on the person coming in to help the, the uh, their teammate. Oh, a great up smash! Doesn't quite get them both, or doesn't quite kill them both, but definitely caught them both out. All right. Also noting the Sheik, Stango Sheik coming out, um, and like I thought, he, he was definitely trying to uh, warm it up. I think against the Steam Comp, going for the safe play on the edge, just throwing out that long back air, keeping himself safe, killing that fox. Backers is really good, no matter what character you are. Backers is great. Griffith not getting a good punish there. Stango definitely took ledge, saying like, no, you can't take this option or, or you're going to die. So Griffith kind of was put in a situation where he could have hit him, but he didn't. Little getting a little too ahead of himself, thinking that the... Ooh! Griffith just running into a down smash. All right, green team around the fox. That fox is just stuck in the shield. He can't do anything. All right, now he's free.
Uh, not taking the stock yet. I wonder why. R2 maybe doesn't realize, or maybe it's just like, you got it. Oh, as I was explaining what was happening, some crazy stuff happened. Uh, but Fox against Peach at high percent on FD. Yeah, and that's curtains. Uh, good edge guard. All right, so Whittle, Whittle R2 taking the first game, making it look like the first set was no fluke. Um, Stango also just went chic and I mean, I know the Marth didn't really work out the first time, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay, they have pause turned off, so... No, pause is turned on, so they can just restart. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they're just committing to the deaths. Uh... <laughs> Alright. All right, so going into game two, uh, I'm assuming they're gonna go back to FD, like they did the first set. Oh no no no, they're going Pokemon. Maybe that's what was happening. They were having a little bit of a change of heart. They they picked Dreamland, but then they're like, no, we don't want to do Dreamland. Alright, so Stango taking the edge there and kind of left Griffith out to dry um, on stage against the two green team members. Oh, and a great uh, edge guard of opportunity by Stango. Oh, <laughs> just, just takes a fully charged up smash. Oh, wow. R2 literally just read, read into the future and <laughs> said you were going to be here. I'm just gonna keep it there. That's hilarious. That was crazy. All right, splitting it up into two one versus ones, and it's working out. Whittle just gets demolished by a fair. Oh, Stango doing some weird bear, and does get the actual edge guard. It does get the good edge guard there. Oh. Smokey not quite in the correct position there for the back for the back throw. I think he was expecting a down throw or an up throw. All right, Smokey just needs to stay safe. Oh, right, good. Good rollout. Game's super even. Two, two team members being clear stock tanks for each team. But it's definitely way harder to take these peach stocks than it is to take these fox stocks and doubles. But Stango proved me wrong right away by just getting a quick forge tilt to up air. All right, and that that box living for quite a while. Let's see how long he gets to live this stock, though. Stango on the edge. He's playing a little scared. Um, not quite going in a, a lot. Misspacing these down down smashes a little bit as well. But like I said, he he's a huge proponent of down smash and doubles. It is a really good move. It's super efficient. Gets good damage in. Sets up for sets up for combos. Um, it's just an all-around good move. It also has invincibility. Like it's got everything you want to have a move. All right. R two. R two Fox definitely able to do this one versus two. As long as he doesn't get grabbed. You all like all this hit is like bad damage for sure. But as long as he's not getting grabbed or wombo comboed. Oh. Alright, good DI. But he's gonna get edge guard. Yeah, this is edge guard. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, punish him for that. Do not, you hold that A. You are, if you're playing Sheik, you hold that. Oh, and Griffith going down super quick. Trying to save the Stango Zelda. What a, what a flub. That is a technical error, and you take that. This game is all about punishing your opponents. Miss, you know, mistakes. And that was a technical mistake, for sure. Forgot to hold an A. Or didn't hold an A. Oh, great back air. Griffith? Uh, odd weight there. Didn't quite... Didn't quite shine at the, at the correct prop at the best time. Oh. Great edge guard. But that was only green team's first stock. And they made it so hard. This is Dreamland. Peach on Dreamland is just rough. This is looking this is looking super rough for red team. Red team does not look ready. Yeah, green team constantly cornering red team and then just like getting them off stage or destroying the fox for it. This this game in particular. And there the Peach is getting easily edge guarded by by uh or the Sheik getting easily edge guarded by just a simple edge hog after going off off stage in an awkward way. And good back air. That's another edge guarded stock. And I like that. Just I have more stocks than you, I can take this trade. Especially when it puts us in the two-on-one and a simple, another really simple edge, edge hog by R2 to take out that game. Um, I have a match to play. Uh, you're going to have to hear silence for the last game. I'm sure it's not going to be too much of a difference. So, uh, signing off. Thank you for listening, chat. Beer guy back again until I get called again for another match. So, you know, can't get enough of you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this high level uh, doubles grand finals. Oh, all right. So, set count two to one. They're really, they're just trying to take the money here. And they made the run back from losers, and here we go. All right. Looks like this game, so far, well, you know, Weasel's just been putting in work, doing his job as a Peach and stock tanking. And they're taking advantage of their invisibility right here to get some of these stocks back, trade it out a little bit. So, still pretty even, but Red Team definitely uses this counterpick to their advantage, because it's definitely their counterpick. Even without the Tech Fox makes it back, that's cool. That's probably fine. And at least I think that was the Fox that needed Tech. Anyway, regardless, regardless. Stocks are now even. Percentage, definitely not. Uh, both foxes close to losing it. So this actually is pretty even, since it's... Yeah. Alright, we'll see. Green team off stage in the corner. Uh, don't know what Griffith was doing right there. Something. Moving around, just waiting for them to come back. And yeah, they, they just got him in the corner still, and they've managed to convert that into one stock. Stanley goes a little too deep, though. Oh, but he gets his stage spike off of that. Sort of. Not really. 
Good job by Weedle making it back. Nice up tilt, and he follows him down there, but he's dead. And yeah, this was even at four stocks apiece, and uh, they've taken less than 100% total since then, or maybe close to 100% total. Ooh, all right. So, you know, this is a bit of a formality here. We will be going to game five unless Dilu's got a hero play in him, which, you know, not saying he doesn't, just probably not against this team at this point on this stage where you lose your stocks pretty early and that's it. All right. So we're going to game five and then we're gonna get some singles on here for you. Uh, let's get on beer guy, we're waiting for, you know, don't have anybody else in here with me right now and not very confident in the play-by-play, -play, but we'll get it, we'll get it. All right, so we're starting off and stage control so far is right now green team mostly, but Kind of had him sam uh, sandwiched with uh, with the corner, but you know. We're back out. We're not doing too bad here. And an SD. All right, so that's not the st start you wanted in game five of set two of grand finals, but gonna have to overcome that or, okay. So, okay. Okay, that's just great stuff. And, uh, Shoutouts to Joey, who knows who I am. Uh, thanks for the love in the chat. And we are back here. That was a weird exchange, though, where actually it ended up being uh, it ended up being the teammate who t took out the... Oh, it was Stango's, Stango Sock that got taken out by Smokey's back there. But anyway. Uh, oh, nice shield drop back here. Didn't wait long enough for the shield to get low enough for that up tilt to poke. Shout out to Leffen. And, uh, or didn't get a CCS kid. All right, so, and, uh, yeah, so this is, green team still pretty much in the lead, especially because Marth's dead right now, but, you know, with Peach off stage, this could even up for, okay, or you could just get shiny. It happens. A little tunnel vision maybe on the edge guard there and you know it, he gets sent off for his trouble but he's back and this time he's going to go for the fox which is probably what he should be doing and there it is uh oh all right nice shine <laughs> great great down smash couldn't really see what was happening on the i was more watching the other 1v1 and couldn't see it all of a sudden because of the peach coming into play and yes go peach go weedle Definitely earning his share of this prize money right now, assuming they can close this out, which you know still is up in the air. And I hope I didn't just jinx them, although it's not my fault. They can't hear me. And even if they could. Anyway. Ooh, great stock from Stango, but he dies for it. And of course, Fox does not, because this is freaking NTSC and it's the best version of the game. But two quick green stocks. Two quick green stocks. And now we are almost even. You know, 50% is not a lead, but it's almost a lead. Good air dodge to get around the option you want to do, but he's dead. He's so dead. Did they really just do this? Did this just happen? This happened. This happened. Great stuff. That was an unbelievable comeback. Well, it wasn't unbelievable, but it was, it was really good. I don't want to oversell it, but I don't want to undersell it. It was good. And they'll take it after getting reset. They'll take it.